الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه الطيبين الطاهرين In June 23, 2009, President Sarkozy spoke at the French Parliament concerning the burqa. He said, in our country, we cannot accept that women be prisoners behind a screen. It seems noble from Mr. Sarkozy to care for Muslim women. Let's examine his words. Prisoners behind a screen. Is this true? We're talking about women walking in the street, not about captives held against their will. Indeed, when the late Michael Jackson had to cover his face and those of his children, specifically to avoid abuse, he was never accused of holding himself and his children prisoners behind a screen. And he was never told by a higher authority to let go of his feelings and opinions and to accept public harassment because somebody else did not agree with him. This is specifically what a Muslim woman wants from covering her face, protecting her privacy according to her own opinion. He said, cut off from all social life. Again, it seems extremely noble from Mr. Sarkozy to care about the social freedom of Muslim women. How can this be achieved? A 10-year-old kid is intelligent enough to answer, obviously, by providing more incentives to mix socially. Yet for some reason, Mr. Sarkozy succeeded to get it backward. We have to accept that he did not decipher the extremely difficult concept that forbidding a woman from covering her face does not change her mind about it. It only makes her feel stronger about violating her personal choice. He did not notice that by making it illegal for her to wear the burqa in public, he was the one forcing her to stay at home, indeed cut off from all social life. He said, deprived of all identity. Mr. Sarkozy truly went out of his way, caring for so many things about Muslim women. We note that on this issue, Mr. Sarkozy did not get it completely backward. Indeed, I do not recognize another person's identity if I don't see his face. I know more about his identity if I know more details about his face and body, his personal life, etc. But is this truly the essence of having an identity? Is this identity of value to the person concerned? Or do we humans understand something deeper from the expression deprived of identity? The worst deprivation of identity is to rob a person from his own opinion. It has nothing to do with recognizing the face or even the person. Are we to understand that if we see a woman's face, now she has an identity and is worth something more while she was deprived of it before my important person saw her face? The ability of the late Michael Jackson to go shopping in disguise as he chose or even be forced to cover his children's faces was indeed preserving their identity, not the opposite. No, Mr. Sarkozy, mankind values the identity where you do not force your opinion on others, regardless the superficial point of seeing their face or not. He said, 
The burqa is not a religious sign. It is clear that only qualified experts from within any religion can issue decrees about it. This is all so obvious, yet Mr. Sarkozy also managed to get it wrong too. Covering women's face has been decided by numerous qualified Muslim scholars as an obligation much more than a religious sign. Although I prescribe to the second school of thought, whereby I do not believe that covering the face, the burqa, is an obligation, yet I respect other people's right to have a different opinion and to exert it in their life. Are we to force them against doing what they consider as an obligation in their religion just because another person doesn't feel it's a religious sign? He said, it is a sign of subservience. When covering or not covering is forced, this coercion would indeed be a sign of subservience. Subservience is if Muslim women are prevented from wearing what they choose. It would be extremely noble indeed of Mr. Sarkozy to set up the mechanism to protect Muslim women from being subservient to persons with different options about their dress. But are we to understand that Mr. Sarkozy will support their freedom of choice only if they choose what he wants them to. Hmm. This is so different from liberté, égalité, fraternité. He said, a sign of debasement. Debasement is not when a woman dresses the way she feels would preserve her dignity. Debasement is when a person's morals reach the point of allowing hypocrisy, untruthfulness, untruthful claims such as subservience, religious signs, etc., indecent behavior, public nudity, pornography, prostitution, and the like. That's debasement not exerting her right to decide for herself whether or not wearing a veil will preserve her dignity. In conclusion, other people's choices will not match ours, and it is essential to be open to them. Just like any woman usually considers it part of her dignity to be able to prevent whomsoever she wants from touching or viewing whatever parts of her body she chooses. Muslim woman considers it part of her dignity to be able to prevent whomever she wants from staring at any part of her body, including her face. Preventing her from covering what she wants is to take away from her basic freedom of choice. And when her choice aims precisely at fulfilling her dignity in her opinion, then resisting her choice is extreme oppression, not liberation. What humans care for is dignity in their opinion. So when you tell Muslim women, no, I do not allow you to do that. It is against your dignity, even though you think the opposite, sister. You are then forcing on her your perception of dignity instead of her own. Your courtesy and respect are most welcome, as long as your opinion of her dignity does not contradict her own. But if your opinion of her dignity contradicts her own, then your sincerity is doubtful. You are simply forcing your view, not protecting her dignity. On first consideration, it seems puzzling that Mr. Sarkozy does not notice his severe blunders. After all, wasn't he intelligent enough to get elected for president? But upon deeper reflection, it is difficult to accept 
that his judgment about imprisonment, social freedom, identity, religious science, subservience and debasement becomes deficient only when discussing them in conjunction with the burqa, while maintaining at least a normal level of intelligence concerning other subjects. The confusion of Mr. Sarkozy must be due to reasons other than logical errors. Panic from growing non-Western religion, or whatever other reasons they truly are, we hope he can reach behind his personal burqa to find and correct these reasons. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.